adultery is still illegal, and it ought to be in a lot of places. And I would argue that the fact that we have gone away from biblical standards in some of our laws is not a, a good thing. We've experienced pain and heartache and broken families as a result. Adultery ought to be against the law. David, David, you sleep with my wife. You've infringed on my liberty, my friend. That's why adultery is ought to be against the law. You're taking something of incredible value from somebody else. You're harming them. You're damaging them. You're taking something that does not belong to you. And my friend, that's just plain wrong, and it ought to be not just wrong, but against the law. Well, pornography, that's looking at stuff that ought to be against the law because it destroys the view that men have of women. It corrodes the view of sex that our young people have. It leads to sexual violence against children. It leads to sexual violence against women. That's looking. It ought to be against the law. All right, whoa. Look, he finally let it all hang out, man. That's balls to the wall. That is exactly what Brian Fisher actually believes. Now, in the past, you know, he usually talks about gay people and, and then talks about, you know, just Republicanism in general and being uber conservative. No, this, today is you learned what Brian Fisher actually is. That's the American Taliban, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you, I guarantee you, you could find an Al-Qaeda operative who says the same shit that Brian Fisher says. So... Adultery should be illegal? You better build some more prisons, dog. Uh, you'd have to roughly um, lock up 76.2% of the population if adultery is going to be illegal. Dude, uh, and he likes to think he's a small government conservative. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. I never heard of uh, uh, it. Uh, somebody advocate for bigger government in my entire life. And, and then uh, the best part of that clip is he's so insistent when he's on the phone with that guy and he's uh, talking about how um, w when they're talking about cheating and he's oh, you're infringing on my liberty if you cheat, with, uh, cheat uh, with my wife. You're infringing on my liberty. God, and you know why that clip is so telling? He views his wife as his property. He said, he actually said it. You're taking something from me. You're taking something like she's a chair or she's a wallet. No, that's a human being, Brian. That's a human being. And by the way, it takes two to tango. If there's cheating, what, you just want to lock up the guy who does the cheating with your wife? I take it you wouldn't want to lock up your wife. That's your wife, right? But technically she's cheating too. So what, what are you talking about? And then look, man. This is all just a nonsense conversation anyway, because he says, oh, oh, when we move away from the Bible, bad things happen. Dude, nobody follows the Bible. Nobody follows the Bible. No history has ever followed the Bible to a T. If you follow the Bible, uh, you have to ban Red Lobster. You have to ban the entire shrimp industry. Any, any shellfish that is sold, uh, crab, lobster, done. You're done because it is an abomination to eat shellfish in the Bible. But I don't see Brian Fisher protesting that, talking about that on his radio show every day. Why? Because he probably doesn't know what's in the Bible. It's also an abomination. We have to uh, take about, I don't know, 60, 70% of the clothing we have in the U.S., crumple it up, throw it out. We're done. Why? Because in the Bible, it's an abomination to wear a mixture of two different types of materials. Got to get rid of it. Got to live by the Bible. Got to live by the Bible. He doesn't know anything, man. And then... You're, women, we're going to have to set up tents outside of our house. You're going to have to sleep in there when you're on your period because it's an abomination for us to even touch you or talk to you while you're on your period. You have to be ostracized from society if that happens. Why are you picking and choosing, Brian? You cherry pick the shit that you like. You disregard everything that you don't like. And the stuff that you pick that, that you do want to make into law is probably the dumbest shit. And then pornography, you're going to make pornography illegal. I hope, are you guys laughing? I think I could hear you laughing over here, all around, everybody that's listening to the show. You're going to make pornography illegal. All right, uh, I would be serving roughly 67 life sentences, if that's the case. Look, I'm a human being. I'm a human being. And guess what happens? Sometimes if you don't have a significant other, or you go on some hard times, or this or that, it's a nice little stress reliever, and it's only natural and human. I, hate, I Hey, Bri, I got some news for you. Turns out, men have penises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we like to use them. It's hardwired into our biology. Uh, and what? He's never been on uh, porn sites? I dare you to look at his search history. 
and I guarantee you there's some stuff in there mm, he talks about every single day and pretends to dislike, if you know what I'm saying. www.bigdicks.com, I guarantee you, is something you find on his uh, search engine. So if pornography was illegal, forget it. You're going to have to lock up 100% of the men in society. Uh, there would be nobody left. And uh, roughly 93% of the women you lock up, and I'm not saying 93% of women watch it on a regular basis, but they have. They've at least seen it once, right? But no, no, uh, Brian Fisher, you gotta, he's the dictator. See, that's the thing. This guy loves to pretend like he's in favor of the Constitution and freedom. He's advocating for uh, a theocratic dictatorship, fascism, totalitarianism. He wants to be the emperor overlord chancellor. Brian Fisher, everybody had to live according to his dictates. God, he's so dumb, I don't even know why I take my time, man. He's just, he's, he's, he's fodder for comedy is what he is.